victory. From Cameroon, the UFC and MMA heavyweight world champion, Mesdames et Messieurs, Le Predator, Francis Ngannou! Just to avoid any confusion, now not booing Francis Ngannou, we have all sorts of horns and vuvuzelas, flags are being flown. What a reception for the former UFC heavyweight champion, Francis the Predator Ngannou. Seven victories, 24 by knockout victory with three defeats. He's an Olympic gold medal champion from Watford, England, United Kingdom, and the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. I can't hear myself talk, and I, I don't even know what I'm saying, but I know I'm excited. Two massive men, two massive punchers. I think we're going to see something special. Fireworks, without a doubt. The MMA world champion, known for his power, as this is a power versus power contest. to stand on. Who's going to stand on first? They're waiting to be queued. It's got to be Ngannou. First yeah, definitely. Ngannou, look, again, on first, you know, he's the... The MMA you know, the, I saw he's not the challenger because there's no title one, but, you know, he's the, the, the MMA guy like, coming into the boxing world. The boxer, the Joshua is the proven, you know, former world champion. Let's give it context. When he won the UFC heavyweight title, 263 pounds. 257 pounds about against Cyril Gain. 272 pounds when he fought Fury. Let's hear what he is tonight. 272.6, 272 pounds, point six. Look at the size of his shoulders, 272 pounds again. So there or thereabouts, exactly as you predicted. Yeah, a huge specimen of a man, but he doesn't look disproportionate anywhere. He's Next big everywhere, even his legs are huge. The Olympic gold medalist, the former two-time heavyweight world champion. Okay, and for Anthony Joshua's context, when he boxed Anthony Jermaine Franklin, career heaviest Joshua. of 255 against Wallin. Great performance last time out, 251. Let's get context. 252.4 pounds. So 252. For the -time world so just champion. a pound heavier than when he boxed the Otto Wallin. We boxed really well. He's basically done exactly what he did the last time. So he's found a comfort spot. He's found a safe spot. Now the whole, all the hard work's done. This is supposed to be the easy bit. 21 pounds between them, though. Not really surprising, but it is a, a sizable chunk of weight. Without now, but you look at them, they look, they look very, very similar, apart from I. AJ's got the longer arms, and gone with that. He's, 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 he's that MMA stance, he's broad. He wants to fight, he wants to tear up. Let's not get gas with what, let, let, get, get gas with the, the, the scary bits, the fact is that Anthony Joshua should be able to get the job done with this man. He should be. champion of the world, formerly an Olympic gold medalist, takes on the former UFC heavyweight king, Francis Ngannou, who's only ever had one professional fight and very rarely, very nearly turned the boxing world on its head. Knockout chaos, it should be knockout chaos. We're going to hear from both fighters very, very shortly. Okay, we're going to go to Francis Ngannou first.
Yes, I am here with Le Predateur, Francis Ngannou. What a crowd over here. It seems like Cameroon is in the house. Can I ask you, Francis, the mindset going into Tyson versus the mindset going into AJ? What's the difference between this Francis and the one that we saw back in October? It's basically the same mindset. You know, I'm just, um, you know, obviously I have learned a little bit from the last fight, uh, from the last camp leading up to this one. So I get a little bit of experience, but the mindset is still the same. You know, uh, this is just my second boxing match. Even though I'm taking the two best guys in the world in the boxing, but it's still my second boxing match. So my mindset is still the same. I'm on the dog. I'm going out there to prove you know, that you can be on the dog and make it, you know, and then uh, stand my ground. I love when you face off with them. There's always a bit of a smirk, almost like you know something that everyone else doesn't know. There's a little smile on your face. What do you know about this fight on Friday that everyone else doesn't seem to know? No, I think sometimes it just make me laugh a little bit because I know that, okay, we are going to fight in boxing rules, but what happened if he was just, if free fight on MMA room. I will smoke those guys. <laughs> I love it. Your official prediction, and, Francis, and, what is it? And I'm, a, I'm the only one to, to go in the backyard. None of them can come to my backyard. I'll take two, uh, two of them at once. And twice on Sunday, I believe. Uh, your official prediction, what is it? My official prediction is me leaving the ring with the victory. Good luck to you, my friend. Can't wait. Thank you. Francis much. Ngannou, Le Predateur, the former UFC heavyweight champion flanked by his team. Now let us say hello to the two-time champ, the Olympic gold medalist, Anthony Joshua. Anthony, nice to meet you formally in person for the first time. You have been so calm, cool, and collected all week. When Tyson fought Francis, a little bit loose, a little bit more relaxed, I don't see that. Even right now, I feel like you're staring a hole through my face. Can you tell us what's going on in your mind before this massive fight on Friday night? Not much. How's everyone doing tonight in Saudi Arabia? That's the energy that we're bringing tomorrow, really. So you can feel it in the air already. The energy's good. Do you respect him as a fighter? Always. Always. Do you think that was part of the problem with Tyson, that perhaps he didn't do that and you're not going to make the same mistake? I'm not too sure if Tyson's local, but he can answer those questions himself. I can't be a spokesman for Tyson. That is fair enough. Can I ask you this? August of 2022, you were up on the dais with that man. You were in tears. A lot of people thought you were done. What's the difference between this Anthony Joshua on a three-fight winning streak back here in Saudi Arabia, one step away from fighting for undisputed gold compared to the man in August of 2022? Because you seem to be a completely different person and fighter. Sometimes when you uh, bow your head, you make prayers, miracles do happen. That's all I can say. God is good. God is good. He's working in my favor. Official prediction? Say that again. Official prediction. What is it from you? Official prediction. <laughs> What are we saying? I deliver on the postman. By any means necessary. And what a surprise, no AirPod this time. You threw in a, a curveball our way. What's, why, why do people watch every little detail? Because you're the man. Oh, I am the man. I'm happy to trust him. <laughs> Much respect, my friend. Good luck to you. There he is, guys, Anthony Joshua.